guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Hurricane Enrique over in the eastern Pacific, expected to become a category two at peak intensity. Uh, there are watches and warnings that are in place for portions of Mexico, and then over in the Atlantic Basin, we have our two disturbances. We have Invest 95L, and we also have another disturbance that is going to be making its way along the southeastern portion of the U.S. And so, before I go into details with these systems. Okay guys, and so first up we're going to be talking about Hurricane Enrique. And so at this time the hurricane has sustained winds of 90 miles per hour and it is slowly accelerating to the north at just 4 miles per hour. And we're seeing here that it is expected to remain a hurricane at least through to Tuesday when weakening is back to a tropical storm is going to be anticipated and after that it is going to be slowly dissipating guys but maybe sometime on thursday or very late wednesday night the system here could potentially make landfall along the back california peninsula as a weak tropical storm or probably as a tropical depression so it's going to be bringing dangerous conditions to portions of the baja california peninsula and so there are some watches and warnings that are currently in place for portions of mexico and so hurricane watch is in effect from manzanillo to cabo corrientes a tropical storm warning is in effect for punta saltelma to punta mita mexico and then we have a tropical storm watch in effect for punta mita to san blas in mexico and in terms of the hurricane watch it means that hurricane like conditions are possible within about the next Next 24 to 36 hours and a tropical storm warning means that tropical storm like conditions are expected within regions that are in the warning area and then a tropical storm watch means that tropical storm like conditions are possible within about 48 hours or so guys and so as a result there will be some hazards that are going to be affecting southwestern mexico and those are going to be the wind the rainfall and the surf so Winds are not expected to be very, very strong because, of course, Enrique is not a very strong system and it is offshore. It's not going to be making landfall along the southwestern portion of Mexico. And in terms of the rainfall, about 6 to 12 inches with isolated maximum amounts of 18 inches over Colima and coastal sections of Jalisco, Michoacan, and northern Guerrero in southwest Mexico are possible, guys. And so that can result in some heavy rainfall along with some mudslides. And so, guys, please take their sort of precautions and stay safe in case you're to be affected by Enrique and in terms of the surf uh, the swells that are generated by Enrique will affect the southwestern coast of Mexico during the next few days and so guys again Enrique is expected to become a category 2 hurricane at max potentially achieving winds of 100 miles per hour and uh, it has been battling some unfavorable conditions so that's the reason it's not really been rapidly intensifying because if it was in a completely favorable environment we would definitely have a more severe storm than this and so looking at the satellite imagery of it we're seeing the system here it's not looking like a very healthy hurricane but it is trying to hold itself together we do have those other rain bands starting to affect portions of southwestern mexico and this is going to be the trend as enrique is going to be making its way more to the north making its way parallel to the western coast of mexico guys and so now let's go over into the north atlantic basin and we're going to be talking about our two disturbances so we have our invest 95l as well as that other disturbance that is located well to the southwest of bermuda first of all, let's talk about that tropical disturbance and so at this time it is given a low 20 percent chance to develop through the next five days and uh, this system here is going to be making its way westward it's not moving very slowly and so portions of the southeastern u.s could be impacted so even though this thing here is highlighted as an area of interest significant development of it is not anticipated as of right now because of the strong wind shear that it is going to be encountering and the dry air we're going to be talking about that later down in this video so if you're in portions of the southeastern u.s i would say maybe the most northeasterly portion of florida georgia and maybe the carolinas you want to be on alert for this system here because even though it might not develop there is the potential that it could result in some inclement weather conditions such as maybe heavy rainfall that could cause some flash flooding guys but as of right now a significant development of the system is not anticipated because of the hostile environment and that is going to be helping to dissipate all the shower activity associated with the system guys so fortunately let's hope that this thing here does not develop and become something quite significant and so now let us go ahead and talk about our invest 95l and so here we have it it is out in the atlantic and it's going to be making its way to the west and when it is very close to the lesser 
Antilles. It's going to be moving more to the west northwest, and so the system here is not expected to move across the entire Caribbean, but it, there is the possibility that it develops. As you're seeing, the chances at a low 30%, and it's been at this for quite a while now, and so slow development of the system is certainly possible, but significant development might not be possible with the system guys because it is going to be making its way across some very hostile environmental conditions that are going to be resulting in it becoming less organized and producing less shower and thunderstorm activity and so let us go ahead and take a look at the wind shear map and so we're seeing here that across most of the caribbean is on favorable shore which is indicated by those red lines you're seeing there the yellow lines mean neutral and the greens mean favorable and so in terms of the disturbance that is located just to the southwest of bermuda we're seeing here that it is in a region of a bit of favorable shear but as it accelerates to the u.s it is going to be encountering the strong wind shear which is eventually going to be resulting in its weakening but in terms of our invest 95l conditions are going to be marginally supportive for it to develop as it's going to be making its way westward and so it is possible that it could maybe achieve tropical depression status or become a weak tropical storm but as of right now nothing significant is anticipated well except for what some of our models are showing so let's go to the model intensity guidance and we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of models being available and about most of them are expecting that it is going to be achieving tropical storm status and it's likely to do that maybe when it's in more favorable conditions so maybe when it makes its way to the caribbean conditions will become a bit more favorable to support it but we really have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be guys but we're looking at maybe by thursday or near the end of this week for the system to be affecting portions of the caribbean and so if you're in the eastern caribbean please take and start precautions and stay safe because this thing here could bring some significant impacts whether it becomes a tropical cyclone or not and so let's take a look at the saharan dust layer map and so we're seeing here that the caribbean does not have a whole lot of dust or really any at all the more you see the reds going to the pinks means that there is more dust but when you see the yellows it means that there is less so in the vicinity of our new tropical disturbance that's headed to the u.s there is quite a bit of dry air and remember tropical cyclones need warmth and moisture to grow and to thrive and so with that being inhibited the system is going to be dissipating and so in terms of the main development region we have quite a bit of shear so 95l really is going to be struggling as it makes its way westward so maybe things will be brighter for it as we're going to be heading later down in this week and as it moves closer into the caribbean and so guys that is really it for this update and so guys if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise enough of course, I'll keep you updated as time goes by.